The Kern County Fire Department tells me they are a family and losing two of their own in one week is not only devastating. Fire Chief Aaron Duncan says he's never heard of it happening in their department before. Fire family, we're coming together, but we're hurting. Surrounded by over 100 firefighters, over 50 Kern County deputies, and even everyday citizens, the Kern County Fire Department said goodbye to Fire Captain Brian Falk. The department announcing the death of the county firefighter veteran of two decades Thursday. When you're with the fire department, it's a family. We're here to support you. You're never alone. We processed with him from Fellows to by by KMC. Probably took 45 minutes with the helicopter over top of the hearse the whole time. He was never alone, honor guard with him the whole time, never alone. County Fire making sure the rest of the department is not alone either. It's been a tough week for the KCFD family, losing not only Captain Falk. Monday firefighter Aaron Agner also died, two deaths in one week. Fire Chief Duncan says their critical incident stress management team is checking in on their department family, and they're not the only ones. Duncan has received calls from their fellow Academy members from all those years ago, other county agencies and fire departments across the state. I've received calls from Sacramento Metro Fire Department, Ventura County, LA County, Bakersfield City, Cal City, all saying, Chief, when you have a funeral, whenever that is, give us a call, we'll staff your stations. We want your firefighters to be able to attend this event. More than professionally, Chief Duncan knew Captain Falk personally going through the fire academy together side by side. He saw him go from cadet to fire captain in six years, which Duncan says is not common. Duncan describes Falk as smart, a great fireman, and a family man. He has a wife and two sons, and they were the love of his life. <laughs> when you think of Brian, Brian wasn't a big, tall person. He was... Um, he was a shorter person, but he was big in stature. When he walked in a room, you knew he was there. His smile could light up a room. Uh, I, I still can see the grin on his face, and I still smile every time I think about it. Fire officials said they would not yet speak about the circumstances surrounding Falk's death. Now, I did ask Chief Duncan what our community could do to be there for Captain Falk's family and the department at this time. He asks everyone to be patient. They're doing everything on the family's time, but he says the community is already coming together for them, and it means a lot. He says that it spoke volumes seeing citizens come out to the procession yesterday in support. Live in studio, Kristen Vartan, 23 ABC News. Connecting you.